about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the better man for your life with house and home. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to House and Home. I'm God Freeman, your host for the show. Now, it's always about home and lifestyle improvement here on House and Home. This is where we share with you some tips on how you can become creative at home. We bring to you tasty cooking recipes, shopping ideas, tips about vehicle maintenance, grooming, and much more. Your home and your lifestyle are the very important areas that need careful attention. Now on tonight's show, Chef Ragler shows us how to make a delicious mud cake. We also go shopping with Brian Bell and walk through their extensive range of Puma merchandise. On Life Hacks, I share with you some creative tips on what you can do with plastic bags. Also, Dr. Ambi is here again as well, and Billie Jean gives us a follow-up to her natural remedies on home cosmetics. Now, it's been a while since Chef Roger appeared on House & Home. Now, due to popular demand, we're glad to show you once again one of his very own simple yet mouth-watering recipes. Here now is Chef Roger baking for us a mud cake. I'm going to show you eggless rich mud cake. So this cake has got no eggs, cholesterol free. So it's very healthy. So I got all my ingredients are here. I got unsalted butter. I put the butter in the bowl. I'm using a small bowl because uh, it's a small portion of cake. So and I add my sugar into that, caster sugar, all of them. Now the secret of making cake is you mix the butter and sugar together and using a small mixer, hand mixer as well. Make it nice and creamy. So you make sure the sugar is nicely Melted, always use caster sugar. And this recipe is very rich. And you will love it. Add the chocolate paste, which is very, very rich. There's um, 75 grams of chocolate paste, and I'll also add five tablespoons of golden syrup. Four, five, there you go. And we mix again. Yes, it's nice and creamy now. And I use my uh, wooden spoon just to mix it up. You can see that it's really, really rich. And I love this cake. I really love it. Now I mix the baking powder the flour and mix them to make sure baking powder is nicely mixed with the flour. And add the flour into the butter mixture. Once you add the flour into the butter mixture, you don't use the beater, cake beater at all. You just fold it with your hand or with a spoon and make sure it's nicely folded. Scoop 
botellas. Now I got 850 ml milk. It is lukewarm. I want the milk to make my cake which gives a good texture rather than using cold milk. That's the tip for the day. Slowly mix it. It looks good. Once you mix it, you should have the right texture. Texture should be like a pouring texture, just like a thick batter. Slowly mix it. It looks good. Bit more mixing. Make sure all flour lumps and everything is taken out. Okay, it's a quick recipe which everyone can do it at home and you can buy all these ingredients in the corner store so it's easy to make it and now I am ready pour it in the tin you can see it is like pouring consistency which is very very important when you make cake so the cake will be nice and soft. There you go. Push it to the corners. And just bit of drop and bash just to make everyone excited. And you can see that it looks really rich. And I'm ready to put it in the oven. The oven is um, 190 degrees or 375 Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes, and cake will be ready. Okay, while my um, rich uh, mud cake, eggless mud cake is in the oven, I'm going to show you how to make uh, the chocolate ganache. I got uh, chocolate buttons here, some fresh cream and some melted butter, melted butter, not fresh butter, melted butter. And this is called double boiler. So you got the water in the pot and I'm going to put this bowl on top of it which will not touch the bottom of it so it won't really cook it it will just melt it and the fire can be slow the water doesn't need to be boiling so it will melt the chocolate with the steam I put all this chocolate in there the cream on it give it a stir
acá. Chocolate is melting now. Takes about five minutes to melt the chocolate. And make sure the water is not boiling and is on slow fire. And the cake uh, should be ready in another five minutes. By that time I'm ready with my chocolate ganache. Make sure it's nicely melting it. Keep stirring. Few more buttons are there. Should be nice and smooth. The chocolate is ready, you can see it's in pouring consistency. And then finally, you put this melted butter just to get the shine on the chocolate. That's the secret of it. So it's not fresh butter, it has to be melted butter, no dairy in it. Stir a little bit and it's done. Turn it off and I'm ready to go and get my cake. My cake is ready, my timer is off. So I'm going to grab my cake from the oven. Be careful, it will be hot, all the steam comes out. Look at that. That is a beauty. It is really nice. And just leave it on the wire rack to air to circulate. And it's nice and spongy. I can see it's very soft. All right, my ganache is ready. And it's nice, beautiful. There you go. And I'm going to pour ample chocolate ganache to make it nice and rich. That is the beauty. Then we have a dribble. And a white chocolate. I made before and a blob of ice cream goes with it you can't have mud cake without ice cream there you go eggless rich mud cake chef roger style it is so rich i can't wait to get it That's a delicious mud cake I'd go for. I'm definitely trying out that recipe anytime this week. Viewers, I'm sure you've learned something and I know you'll try that out. Thank you to Chef Roger for showing us how to make our own mud cake at home. When we come back after the break, it's all about Brian Bell's Puma merchandise this time around. So stay tuned. Welcome back. Now, last week, Brian Bell featured its wonderful range of curtains. This time, however, we're shifting to another amazing part of the home center to check out their extensive collection of Puma products. Need to run a mile? Or maybe you just need some excellent quality training gear? Well, either way, Brian Bell's got you covered.
Hello and welcome to another Shopping with Brian Bell on House and Home. I'm your host, Leon. In this segment, we'll take a look at some of the brands that live in our sports department, particularly Puma, a brand that's iconic in PNG. So let's go take a look. If you didn't know yet, then now you do. Puma is available here at Brian Bell with a range of sporting goods like shoes, caps, jumpers, shirts and shorts for both ladies and the gents. With Christmas just around the corner, we all know what happens at that time. Party! With all the extra food, drinks and parties that you'll be attending, you're going to pack on some of those kilos. So you need to have a countermeasure in place. Maybe it's walking home from work or maybe it's mucking around with your friends on the footy field or maybe it's spending time with your children and kicking a footy on the field. Either way, you're going to need footwear, and Puma is your best bet. And here at Brian Bell, we have a range of different Puma shoes available. We've got football shoes in Puma, we've got casual shoes in Puma, we've got superhero themed shoes, and we also have running shoes like this Puma Asphalt. You need something that is comforting to the soles of your feet, rather than a shoe that makes your feet hurt. Well, Puma Asphalt Cross Trainers come to mind for me. Not only is it comforting to the soles of your feet, but it provides proper traction. It can be used on most surfaces, and we both know that there are some rough terrain here in PNG. We also stock and sell a variety of Puma casual shoes that you can wear to any casual event. And like the Puma Asphalt, this range of casual shoes provides good foot support, and it also looks good. Now here's a fun fact about Puma. They originated in Germany in 1924 known as Gebrüder Dazzler Shoe Fabric. This translates to the Dazzler Brothers Shoe Factory. They made Dazzler spikes for athletes, athletes that ran in the Olympics. After gaining some popularity, they changed their name to Puma. And now you can find Puma here at Brian Bell. There is also a great variety of Puma clothes available for both the ladies and the gents with apparel like shirts, both casual and training, shorts, jackets, jumpers, socks and caps. Now if you love soccer, then you know that Puma sponsors some of the teams and we have some of those Puma merchandise available here like the Italian team jersey and the Arsenal team jersey from the British Premier League. If you support these clubs, come on down here and check out the merchandise we have available and get one so you can better support your team. Puma has also evolved with time and that is one of their characteristics that have made them so successful in the sporting industry. Puma training gear is more sought after and we have a range here that can help you perform in your chosen sport. It's important that you exercise or train. This encourages a healthy lifestyle and you'll need some gear for that. Puma has the best gear available that you can use for that. So if you're an aspiring athlete or you just want to train to keep fit, then this Puma gear is perfect for you. For the ladies, compression shorts and for the men, some comfortable running shorts that encourage a wider range of movements so you can better complete all your exercises. Now before this segment ends, I must remind you that our Christmas promotion is still running. This Christmas promotion is called the Home Center Christmas Winners. Yes, Christmas is just around the corner and wouldn't it be lovely for you to win a prize from Brian Bell? Well, you have the opportunity to win that simply by shopping here at Brian Bell. All you have to do is spend 50 kina or more at any Brian Bell Home Center and for every 50 kina spent, you get an entry form. Simply fill in your details and drop it into the entry box. There are 88 prizes to be given away over the duration of this competition, valued at a whopping 115,000 kina. There are 8 weekly draws of a 32-inch Starvision TV on at each of our 8 local Brian Bell Home Center stores around the country. That's 64 32-inch Starvision TVs to be won. Now if you missed out on the weekly prizes, then don't worry, because you'll still be in a chance to win in the grand draw prize. Grand Row prizes include that's one Christmas winner's gift voucher to the value of 5,000 kina and two Christmas winner's gift vouchers to the value of 1,000 kina each. There's 24 winners in total, that's three sets of grand prizes at each of the eight local Brian Bell home centers. So there you have it folks, thanks for tuning in and I hope you've seen that Brian Bell has the best Puma range of gears available here at our sports department. 
come on in, check it out, and get something, get out there and get active. Also, our Christmas promotion is on, called the Home Center's Christmas Winner's Draw. Come on in and be a part of that. You might just win something this Christmas. And always remember, great prices, great products, and great after-sales service. That's Brian Bell. Until our next time together, goodbye and God bless. What more can I say? I am speechless. Great products with great prices. That's Brian Bell. Viewers, make sure you have some time available to check out these awesome Puma products at Brian Bell Home Center. I'm sure Brian Bell will amaze its customers and you viewers out there of their massive specials. So keep an eye out for that. Coming up after the break is Life Hacks, in which I give you some tips on dealing with all those plastic bags that you have. Welcome back to House and Home. Now it's all about improving your lifestyle with household stories and tips. Speaking of improving your lifestyle, keeping your home clutter and trash free is essential to living a long and healthy life. Now here's my take on some nifty life hacks on what you can do with some plastic bags instead of throwing them out. Plastic bags. These things are everywhere. You get them from shopping, you pack them away, and sure they're convenient to store at first, but after a while they tend to well, pile up. And then you're just looking for more places to store them. And then they get all over the place and then you have to get rid of them. And then throwing them away just damages the environment and harms animals. So that's why for this episode of Life Hacks, I'm gonna show you guys some awesome and nifty ways to use this differently. I mean, differently from using them in a bin or to carry stuff. I mean, those ideas are great, but these, these are a little extra. Now don't you just hate it when all your plastic bags are just all over the place? Wouldn't it be so much better if these plastic bags were in some sort of dispenser or something? Well, you're in luck! Here's the simplest way to make a plastic bag dispenser. And all you need is one of these! Well, basically, any form of dispenser with enough room inside to hold plastics. For this project, I'm using a tissue box. So, the first step is to make sure that you haven't got any more tissues left in the container. I know, no brainer. Now the next thing you do is start loading your plastic bags into the dispenser. You take one bag and stuff it into the dispenser through the lid bottom first. So you make sure that the handles are left outside. You then take the next bag, feed it through the bottom through the handles of the first bag. Twist it a little and then stuff it in the dispenser. Now just repeat this process for as many plastic bags as you can. And there you go. Your dispenser is complete. Just tug one bag out and the next one is sure to follow. Plastic bag hack number two, a vomit bag. You got that friend who gets uh, extra queasy during car rides? <laughs> Want to protect your car seats and floor mats? Well then, you've got an excellent tool to help you do so. All you need is a plastic bag and one of these paper bags. Load the plastic one into the paper one. Then roll down the edges of the bag. Flatten it down and store it in your car. And there you go. Instant protection from, uh, messy accidents in your vehicles. Awesome hack number three, a plastic bag sealer. Need an easy and convenient way to store nuts, cereal, popcorn, rice, or anything like that? Well, here's another awesome hack for you. Here's how you can make your own plastic bag sealer. All you need for this hack is a plastic bag, duh, <laughs> a 500 ml plastic bottle, some scissors, and whatever you're planning to dispense. For this project, I'm using rice. So, the first thing you do is cut off the top of the bottle. This will work as the lid for the sealer. You then pour your rice into the plastic bag. And then you feed the plastic through the open bottle top. 
You can decide how big of a bag you want at this point, depending on how much you feed the plastic through. You then lock the plastic in place by screwing in the bottle cap. And there you have it! Your plastic bag sealer is done! And now you've got something to do with all these plastic bags. Instead of throwing them away, why not do something cool and helpful with them? Alright, so I hope you all learned something about what you can do to be more creative when it comes to making your life around the house a lot easier. For more awesome life hacks, keep watching House and Home. Welcome back, viewers. Coming right up, we've got Dr. Rambi with some tips on how we can take care of our elderly. Healthy Mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom P&G Limited. Welcome to Healthy Mind. Well, this evening, we use um, good blah one blah topic. Em um, can kiss him some blah kind. Think think come up blow life blow you me and can make a big difference to bring love and hamamasi come up blow family blow you me. What is the topic? It's all about he the health of the elderly. When we talk about the health of the elderly or some blah time, you me can talk or same caring for the elderly. Well, you lumi savi or sem or papa na mama and try bla something lo life blo you me or husati bring him you me lo one em hap you me stop and papa na mama la plenty time or sem word blo papa god em tok tok penis honor your father and mother emi you know lick lick something whoever we are we can be try bla or age blo you me stop and papa mama em big plus something so the most comment why are we talking about the health of the elderly this is the time there are social changes are happening and plenty time we are not looking after our grandchildren or grandmother and grandfathers and so on in most of the countries we find also mental health of it improves the tremendously people are living very longer so you look at Muslim, in some countries there are average years they're living is more than 60 years now so you look at Muslim, it means longer for us to have a grandfather or grandmother or papa or mama whoever the as the age goes on you may save or same that they can share so much with us they can learn so much they have got so much to contribute and also they are someone who has got a lot of experience so you may know can think more so lapun penis or this la kind so you must save or same the health of everybody it that our elderly is very very important and as they grow old you save a penis or some they are more vulnerable to a lot of health issues because their body is changing mind is changing social life is changing some blood time all like or some daily routine also by change but you look him or some some blood kind time or like come out now elderly people they will need positive and rewarding life to stay healthy and to be contribute towards your family members because they love to have grandchildren they love to be to you know come out of the working experience or like emotions spend some blood time one time all friends because life is only once so you by look emotion there are mental health problems are associated with the elderly people so the situations and sometimes the mental illnesses, what are their reasons, what are their issues, what are the one of the reasons why they have mental health issue is loneliness. Plenty time you look in most, I mean, many places, the families are split, the children have grown up, they got things to do in their own and they have moved on. So they become a very smaller families when they cha papa na pikinini or lose him papa na mama na go or say more elderly they start to live alone. When they start live alone, or same you pine him, or same low support block picking in or stop, or same loneliness is a very difficult moment where it, they can develop mental health issues. Number two, or same physical health issues are another reasons because some elderly people they develop 
physical health issues because they uh, they can cause disability like arthritis and other issues as we grow old and these kind of little little illnesses also have physical illnesses can so this physical illness can also cause mental health issues such as depression and anxiety and so on number three why the elderly people they have is brain disease that means some type of brain diseases especially dementia and other mental health issues can come because if the brain is have a kind of disease or some kind of disorder then it can produce mental health problem number four Financial difficulties is one of the cause. Well, you save all, you know, all papa and mama now all pini sim work now. Then all you know got plenty money. So all like live more same all picking by helping or this like kind thing thing by stuff because all working hard way through bringing you me pinis. Now generally when they are not working, they also have financial issues. So if you don't have much finance, well, they can have an onset of mental health problem so all the time you look at most say mental health are not it's in the difficult times we need to find out depression delirium and psychosis are some of the issues we have mental health which are associated with you know mental health of elderly well viewers one thing i want to tell you in the caring for the elderly the all types of mental health issues which a child can have the elderly also can have but what what can i say here however there are three types of mental health issues are very common ones that is one is depression okay depression is feeling sad hopeless worthless this like kind of feeling huh? so they they lose their interest in everything and they wanted to uh, feel very upset about everything teary and this kind of feelings if your parents have it for more than two weeks it's better to get help because it, depression is treatable and curable the other side is also the mental health issues we are talking about is the dementia that means the you will see they're losing their memories uh, slowly they lose because there is some kind of issues in their brain which is so some of the dementia that is memory loss can be treatable some you cannot treat you ac can treat only the signs and symptoms and the, the other one other mental health issues is delirium you will see many of the uh, like elderly people they because of the brain diseases and their other physical conditions they can create delirium that means confusion they're not oriented to time place and person they don't know their names they get confused with the father you know the children and their names and things this delirium or sometimes you can have psychosis these things can cause major disasters like death and so on so the most important thing is to get help help early because important thing they are also curable or they can be manageable or they can be preventable more than anything we need to manage these patients early to prevent them further disaster or even death or other issues where mental health problems itself causes uh, immense disability for their normal functioning in the social welfare itself. So what am I talking about is the caring for the elderly is the most beautiful thing and I'm sure that I want you all to continue to pick them up all early as possible. Healthy Mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. When it comes to choosing a fabulous beach outfit, there are so many options. From super cute dresses to hot denim shorts and skets, you can't go wrong whatever you choose to wear. 
Still, if you want a bit of inspiration, check out these five super cute daytime beach There's outfit ideas. Number one, a beautiful sleeveless dress. Number two, a classic dress shirt. Number three, an elegant light white blouse paired with short. Four, a cute flowery mini dress. Five, a local beautiful merry blouse. Additional accessories, shades, beach hat, and a beach bag. And for the feet, I choose this flip-flop. You can wear a pair of cute shoes, but what's the point of coming to the beach if you can't feel the sand in your feet? Outfit idea number one. This is a nice and girly beach outfit. Pair the cutest beach dress with a pair of flip-flops. This kind of dress is so comfortable and graceful for the walk on the beach. Outfit idea number two. If you want to look amazing and unique, choose a dress shirt. They are just trendy for the bitch. Plus, it gives you a lot of breathing space and is so flexible. Outfit idea number three. Kiss an outfit for girls who prefer shorts to skirts and dresses. Pair your denim shorts with a light white blouse and accessorize with your shades and beach hat. This is one of my favorite beach outfits. This is so classy. Outfit idea number four. Now, for those that love mini dresses, this is one of my cutest beach outfits. It is light, breathable, and just beautiful for the beach. I chose this for the beach because of its cool and comfortable feeling. Plus, it's flexible. Outfit idea number five. For this option, let us go local. I'm talking Mary Blouse. Mary Blouse has become so fashionable these days in our country. Local designers have taken it to the next level with its different designs. But what I have here is a simple beautiful Mary Blouse. It is kind of like a dress shirt. It is light, flexible, comfortable, which is perfect for the day at the beach. I hope you have enjoyed these tips and ideas on the outfits for a day out at the beach. So the next time you are having a day out on the beach, why not try these fashionable options? Join me next time for more simple tips and ideas about what to wear on Colosseur. Until next time, bye for now. everyone and welcome to home cosmetics I'm Billie Jean from the previous segment of home cosmetics I have shown you some natural remedies tips which you can do at home I hope you tried them and if you are continue to do them at least three or four times in a week to keep that glow and this is part two of natural remedies having skin blemishes may add to depression stress and low self-esteem. These things make us feel ugly and utterly unattractive. I know what I'm saying because I have been through all that. But now, look at my face. I use natural remedies all the time. And if you are having problems with facial blemishes, this will help you. And the best part of it is you can do them right at home and they're not expensive. And for this evening, I am gonna show you one remedy which is milk and honey and I'm going to share with you some tips on milk as well so let's get into it milk and honey milk will moisturize the skin and lighten the skin tone honey will help in clearing the skin texture and make it fairer you can use this face pack on a daily basis here are some benefits of using milk on your skin milk can do wonders for your face it hydrates dry skin, exfoliates mature skin, and suits irritated skin, and lightens dark skin. Milk lightens your skin by promoting the shedding of pigmented skin cells. You can use this homemade face mask for reducing tan, dark spots, and dark patches. Milk for washing face. Wondering how milk can cleanse your face? Milk has a unique ability to remove oil-soluble impurities with the help of fat-soluble enzymes. 
and dead skin cells with lactic acid. Massage milk on face followed by wiping with a wet cotton and pat dry. People with sensitive skin often look for cleanser that can calm red irritated skin. Guess what? Milk is just for you. Stop all the skincare products when your skin is irritated and massage milk twice daily on your face followed by wiping with a wet cotton or cloth and pet dry. This not only cleanses, but also soothes the moisturizes your skin. The secret of radiant and wrinkle-free skin of Zalopetra is historically attributed to milk. The enzymes, proteins, minerals, and vitamins content of milk helps in reducing wrinkles. Milk for dry skin. Milk is truly a wholesome moisturizer with water, fat, and proteins that can repellness the lost natural moisturizing factor of dry skin type. Wondering how to use milk as a moisturizer? You can use buy milk product here, such as fresh butter can be applied to the dry skin of both body and face. Milk for sunburn. When you get sunburn on a holiday, Nothing comes in handy as milk. All you need to do is refrigerate a soft cloth soaked in a bowl of fresh milk and apply this on the sunburned skin as cold compresses. Milk soothes sunburn with the help of anti-inflammatory moisturizing and skin repairing properties. However, do not use whole fat milk or milk cream because its fat content might insulate the sunburn, hindering the loss of heat. I hope you have enjoyed these tips. Remember, using chemicals can sometimes cause harm to your face. Natural remedies are the best way to go. Join me next time on Home Cosmetics for more beauty tips that you can do at home. Bye. And that brings us to the end of our show, viewers. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. For any comments on any of our features, contact the House and Home team on the email address now showing on your screen. You can also get in touch with us through our House and Home Facebook page. And to view this episode again, visit NTV Online. And remember that there's more you can get for your home and lifestyle improvement when you tune in to House and Home. Until next time, I'm God Freeman. Thanks for your company, and on behalf of the House and Home team, pleasant viewing and goodbye. For your love.